All right, what's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So we are about to get into another reaction video by Jackson Passion. This one is Michael Jackson's Blackness. So yeah, without further ado, guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video. So let's go. Remember something. Just because it's in print doesn't mean it's the gospel. I love you more. Hopefully y'all have seen this video because I know I'm in the way. In the dark. I wouldn't want to look in the mirror. Really? And my father oh, teased me and I just hated it. I cried every day because of it. it your father me... would tease you about your yes, pimples? Yes, he would tell me I'm ugly. Your father would say Yes, that. he would. Sorry, Joseph. <laughs> yeah. He would tease me about how I looked and he would say, well, you didn't get it from my side of the family. You didn't get that from me. I said, I feel like saying thanks for making me feel better, you know. People don't stop to think what they're saying sometimes and, and the effect it can have on a person, you know. God, your nose is big. You didn't get it from me. You want to die. You want to die. And on top of it, you got to go on stage in the spotlight in front of hundreds of thousands of people and just, God, it's hard. I would have been happier wearing a mask. No, I try not to look in the mirror. I really do because mm -hmm. I'm never happy with what I see. So I go on with my work and get it done. Well, yeah. You don't look like my child. You, your nose is so big in this neck. They, they used to call me big nose and stuff. And instead of retaliating on them, I just did it with myself. Let's just put it this way. If all the people in Hollywood uh -huh. who have had plastic surgery, if they went on vacation, there wouldn't be a person left in town. His nose doesn't even look big to me. It fits his face really well. Like, I don't, I don't know, maybe because I'm used to seeing it. <laughs> but his nose is not look that big. It fits his face. I have a skin disorder that destroys the pigmentation of the skin. It's something that I cannot help, okay? But when people make up stories that I don't want to be who I am, it hurts me. to control it and using makeup mm -hmm. evens it out because it makes blotches on the skin and I have to even out my skin. In the beginnings of the vitiligo happened, um, had start happening relatively early. You know, he, he even was trying to hide it from me. He tried to hide it for quite a while. You know, he'd always try to cover with makeup and even out his skin tone and everything until it just got so extensive. I mean, it's all over his body. We were always trying to hide it and cover it for the longest time until he just had to tell Oprah and tell the world, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to be white. I have a skin disease. You know, in the beginning, I tried to cover the light spots to the darkest part of his skin, but then it became so extensive that we had to go with the lighter part of the skin because his whole body was reacting. He'd have to be in complete, full body makeup every inch of his body. You know, so it was easier to make the transition mm -hmm. to him being to the lighter shade. That sounds very tedious, but where did the bleacher rumors come from? Did they not know about vitiligo back then? Like... <laughs> was this not a thing? But you can look at his skin and tell that he has vitiligo. Being so young as a kid, there were times when I thought of taking my own life away because I didn't want to face, you know, the kids. I didn't want to live my life like this, every single day feeling bad about myself, feeling ashamed of myself. It was hard for me to look in the mirror. I would cry. I would feel really bad about myself. 
It is so life altering. It is so psychologically devastating. The days where I have to sit and hear about people who commit suicide because they were not as strong as the people who have to live with it every day. They just couldn't take it. At the time when I was, I was living in Cyprus and I knew nobody with the condition, we didn't know what it was, we had no experience of it and there was no one out there except for Michael Jackson who was saying that they had it and in a way that sort of was support mm -hmm. from myself so I would absolutely want to believe that yes he had it and I think there's a lot of evidence to back it up mm -hmm. um, and I don't see why anybody should not believe that. Uh, I still get people telling me things but <laughs> meeting other people with the condition it just brings back those memories so mm -hmm. right now I really really hope that by doing this other people can see that it's it's just something that makes us look different we're not different in any other way mm -hmm. and it's not contagious it's not life threatening and it's so hard to go through something that's visual mm -hmm. you know oh i didn't know that Cut us a visit, and I'm very happy indeed uh, to be able to host him, even for uh, just a few minutes. And uh, he has made a great contribution to art, to music, and uh, uh, and I'm uh, very happy that uh, he is in our country. It is my honor to be here in South Africa. I love you people very much. I've had the time of my life here. I've had so much fun. I hate to leave. And I'm definitely looking for a, a home here, Dubai, because I would love to spend uh, the rest of my life here. And we are definitely coming in January. And this so, is a so, wonderful, so lovely man. And I love Nessa Mandela very much. And thank you for all your hospitality and all your love. Thank you very much. I've never had so many journalists. Uh, <laughs> It's the first time for me to have to see so many of them. So that shows how popular you are. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I don't know if nobody ever said thank you to you, man. Oh, God bless you. That's Why are you so talking good. to us like it's, a little boy um, hugging his dad? It. It's, it's not easy being in my position because it creates so much sensationalism and tabloid. People lie. Come on, man. It creates rumors and stories yeah. and and none of it's true, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's very, very difficult, you know. It's yeah. not easy. It's very hard. And, and you and you end up, you hurt sometime, you know, and you, cause you try to be as resilient as possible. Right. But it's very, very difficult. What <laughs> boy look like that? <laughs> I'm a black American. I'm proud to be a black American. I am proud of my race. I am proud of who I am. I have a lot of pride in who I am and dignity. I'm a black American, and I'm proud of it, and I'm honored of it. I know my race. 
face. I just look in the mirror. I know I'm black. Okay. The fuck? I don't know. The way he said that sounded kind of sassy, so I felt it. But I got to tell you something. You done meant something to black people, man. You know he black. And don't ever think you don't and you haven't. Wow. But you have really, really meant something to a lot of minorities across wow. this country. And you remember that about your music, man. You remember that about your videos. You touch us that way. And I'm giving you something, man, just from one brother to another that the mainstream America can't give to you. But it's what you have done in representing black people. I'm and proud of my heritage. Come on, player, say it. I'm proud of it. I'm proud to be black. I'm honored to be black. And um, I just hope that one day that they will be fair in uh, portraying me the way I really, really am. Just a loving, peaceful guy wanting to make uh, wonderful, uh, unprecedented uh, entertainment and songs and music and film uh, for the world. Yeah. You know, and that's all I want to do. I have no that. threat. I just want to do that, you know? Dig that. That's all yeah. I want to do. The Garden of Eden probably was in Africa, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And the people couldn't have been nicer. They were lovely, and I loved it. And uh, the music, oh, and the rhythm. Seeing these little bitty kids with the perfect rhythm, and the, the, the way they moved their body, I was just, I was, I was amazed. It was great. And they gave me everything. They, they showered me with gifts, you know, clothing, food. And in the hotel, I was in this hotel, right? But when I'd look out of my window, as far as I can see would be people. And they'd, be, they'd even sleep out there waiting for me. They would sleep outside all day long. They'd stand there. At night, they'd be out there waiting for me. It was just, they couldn't have been sweeter. And I loved it. And I'm thinking about buying a house in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. By the way, I, do not I want this. to do a dance number where I can just let out my frustration about, you know, injustice and prejudice and racism and bigotry. And within the dance, I just became upset and I let go, you know, and that's what happened. I love you, Smelly. I love you more, Quincy. Oh, yeah. I already knew about all these people. From the bottom of my heart, since I was a child, at six years old, he was the one that I looked up to more than any other entertainer. And I still do today. Dinah Ross. Yeah. Very dear friend, Dinah Ross. She's the kind of person I can tell her anything, the most private of secrets, and she tell me her secrets as well. I'm crazy about you. 
Let's make no mistake, Michael never forgot who he was, where he came from, and the history of, of African Americans in this country, especially the music business. That, that's unquestionable, despite the appearance of all the other stuff. He was amazing. Sometimes when I talk about him, I just get goosebumps. Yeah. Just, <laughs> he was amazing. It's a thing I'm just beginning to learn about. Come on. It's my philosophy, too. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. But Michelangelo said, you know, I know the creator Don't play with Michael. Do not. work survives. That is why to escape death, I attempt to bind my soul to my work. That's how I feel. I give my all my work. Because I wanted to just live and just give all that I had, you know? The reunion to come back, I feel so much love and I felt it then. I'm just so happy that that love is still there. And I love you all so much. It's just uh, the love will always be there. And thank you for this wonderful, magical day that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Thank you. You know, the only thing I'm going to say is, like, if this video does not prove or show that, you know, like, Michael loved his blackness, I don't know what proof you need because I remember growing up hearing um, people say that he hated his blackness because of the surgeries and you know they were saying that he bleached and everything and I did not know the reason why because I was questioning too like why did his skin go from dark to light but I never believed that he bleached because when you bleach you look very ghostly like like i've seen pictures of people who bleach who have bleached and their skin looks very ashy kind of dead 
his skin did not look like that. His skin went from literally brown to like white. Like it did not look anything like he was bleaching. So, and bleach, like, I don't, I don't even think bleaches back then were that good or that strong where you can go from the color that he was to the color that, you know, he ended up being. But yeah, my question is like, did people not know about vitiligo back then? Like, was that not something that like, why did, why did people not want to believe him so bad that he had vitiligo? Like, that's not a thing. Like, that is so crazy. But what's even more crazier is that vitiligo is like accepted now. I mean, I don't know how accepted it is, but I've seen like uh, models like, I think her name is witty or something like that there's this one model she has vitiligo and she's very popular winnie harlow but all right y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video